Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. I have a new project that I've been working on for a while and I've been meaning to share this with you guys as soon as I got all the formulas figured out. This is a spreadsheet. And if you guys have watched a history of my videos, you guys should know I love spreadsheets. They allow you to do a lot of things automatically which save you time, energy, and they help eliminate user error. So guys, this is how the spreadsheet works. This is a project calculator which means if you have, let's see, a, a remote project that you're going to be working on, which involves travel, it's going to involve parts, it's going to involve different types of PM. Well, this sheet does all the work to kind of give you a rough estimate quote, which right now you can see I've got uh, parts totals, travel total, PM labor total, and uh, the completed total down here. And it's all blank. So I'm going to show you guys what this sheet does. There's a series of tabs down at the bottom. I got project totals, travel, parts, customers, inventory, and equipment modes, uh, equipment models, and PM time. So what you do is um, down here, you fill out your travel, whichever it might be. I have a standard labor rate up here. Now, most of these cells are locked out, so you cannot adjust them because the formulas don't need to be boogered with, all right? So all these fields over here, you can edit which right now I believe the current mileage rate is about 65 cents. So let's say I have eh, 72 miles. Um, parking per day, let's say uh, $20 parking. And rental car, taxi, no, but let's say I am gonna use, hmm, I'm not gonna use my work van. Let's say, no, I'm not gonna use that. Airfare, let's say I have $600 in airfare. In per diem, um, let's say $125 per diem per day, and that is your meals and lodging or whatever. Um, number of techs, let's add two technicians. Number of days, let's do one week, which is five days. Hours per day, hmm, let's do, let's do a typical eight hour day, all right? And then down here at the bottom, you can see our labor rates. So I've got technician level one, level two, and level three. Um, there's a variety of different, um, they don't necessarily call them biomed one, two, and three, but there are like um, remote tech one, remote tech two, et cetera. So that's why I did level one, level two, level three. And over here, you're gonna select, uh, we have two technicians, so we're gonna select what those two techs are. So my first guy is going to be um, he's going to be my senior level tech, all right? And right now, I have $135 as my labor rate. Technician 2 is going to be a Biomed 1, all right? Uh, and you can modify these, whatever your calculated labor rates are, all right? So what it does is the sheet automatically takes into account the amount of hours per day, and it then multiplies it based on the number of hours, and that gives you this cute little calculation over here on the side. And over here, you see at the top, we got our mileage. We've got our parking for all the days that were gone, our airfare, our per diem total. So that's 125 days times, you know, um, five days. And let's see, down here, we've got tech one, tech two labor. I've got a labor total of $8,400. And that means a travel total of $10,396, right? So that just is really quick. And then you'll see automatically that that total gets brought over to the first page. You don't have to worry about it. Let's say parts. Um, let's say part number one, two, three. Part description, this is a PM kit. And let's say this PM kit cost me $100. And let's say that I need two of them. Okay, so all businesses have a certain level of markup and that's called your margin. And over here is gonna be your margin because the way the tax works is if you sell a part to a, a hospital or a company, you are gonna get taxed for it. So you have to do margin and all that, you know? And plus your admin fees for keeping records, that's all kept track on here. So you can see uh, margin adjusted price and then your total for that item. And let's, let's add another one, let's try part 246 and this one here is going to be fasteners 
fasteners and let's see asking price of these let's do 32 dollars quantity needed let's do 20 i'm so i'm gonna need 20 of these special fasteners and you can see how things add up real quick 32 dollars each times 20 uh, margin adjusted price is 40 i have 800 dollars, which means for this project i have a total of 1050 dollars and of course goes back here on the main page all right and you can see as we go this line right here is going to keep adding up customers inventory okay so here is where uh, you're going to import the inventory for your customer because um, before you do a project we always suggest that hey give me a spreadsheet of all the items that you want covered on this contract and we will go ahead and bring it in and this is where the sheet automatically does calculations you can see I have nothing on there because that is usually some pretty confidential information. So of course I can't have any demos in the sheet. But what you can see right here is I've got a 3M775. So let's go into customer's inventory. Let's say my customer has a patient warmer, 3M, let's see, 775. And let's say a serial number of one, two, three, four, five. I don't know. Okay, so what it does, the sheet, is it references the red tab down here. The red tab is red for a reason because normally it doesn't need to be modified. What's in this tab is a list of a whole bunch of items. And mind you, the PM time right here, which is in this bluish column, it might not be completely accurate. Mind you, I had to do a lot of this stuff kind of on the fly and kind of quickly. So you can see that we have the asset description, the manufacturer name, the model, and then an estimate for PM time, okay? So there's a lot of items on this list. So you can imagine, um, I, I probably don't have accurate time for all of these, but it's gonna be probably pretty close, all right? So you can see right here, patient warmer, 3M775, serial number this, and we have an estimate of 30 minutes. So let's say I have multiples of these, and you can see that the sheet automatically looks over on the other page for that model and it says, yeah, it's about 30 minutes. And then you have a labor rate up here. The cell you can modify. And I currently have labor rate at $125. That could change, probably will change. You can see it also calculates up the amount of hours times the, the price that you set. And that means for this project, I have a total of $312.50. And of course, that's gonna come back here to the main page and you can see my PM labor and my travel, my parts and my total. It's all on the same page, all right? I designed this to be nice and easy. So you would be expected to modify this tab here, which is your equipment models and PM time according to your business, all right? So you are gonna modify these. Mind you, I've got you probably a pretty good head start on a lot of this, but um, you're gonna modify this accordingly and then you just fill in the yellow tabs according to your project and then on the main page you have your total and that should get you pretty close to a ballpark figure for when you're doing an estimate so ideally again all you do is import your customer's inventory of whatever it is into here and if you don't see anything in this purplish column well that tells you that there's no models currently in the database and the database is the red tab so you would have to go in and manually paste in these three items right here, which would be your uh, asset description, manufacturer, and model. Or you could just do the model because that's the, the column that it's really just looking for. So the model has to be verbatim. If it's not verbatim, then you have to modify it, okay? So again, this is a sheet for you guys to use as a tool to help you generate quotes quickly and easily. There you go, guys. Anyway, ah, guys, um, so I really wanted to share with the, you guys that sheet. I've been working on it for a while. It is a functional sheet. It does work. And obviously, I had to give you guys a modified sheet because the one that I use for Foby is a wee bit different. My margins are different. Everything's going to be different. But um, at least you guys can modify it according to your business needs and get you up and get going. All right. It's all about using computers to make work faster and easier and more accurate because you're eliminating user error. And that's a big, big thing, all right? Okay, guys, let me know what you think. Take a look. It's a really small spreadsheet. And 
it just needs a little bit of love to manicure that that PM models category and make it custom to your business and just use it to your will. Do what you need. All right. All right, guys. And, and by the way, the cells are locked out. You can unlock those cells and modify it as you want. The passcode is Biomed, B-I-O-M-E-D. Just type that in and it'll unlock the sheet. You can do whatever you want, but this will just show you one of my calculator sheets that kind of gets you up and running. Thanks for watching, guys.